Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Riles the Streaming Network. I am your hostess, Ashley LGR, for the channel. Today, we are going into another rant video regarding Star Wars The Old Republic's cartel market. The most egregious thing that this game has in its arsenal. It is a product of a completely destroyed market, a lot of mistakes that were made, and Bioware's unwillingness to fix the mistakes because they're like, you know what? The game is already screwed. Why not make it more screwed instead of taking the man hours to fix what needs to actually be fixed? But we'll get into that later. For this one, we are getting into the cartel market itself and just how ridiculous the prices are and if you want to go the other route which is to just use the trade market the gtn as it's called in this game otherwise known as the market board you will quickly find that it is very very difficult to stay out of the microtransaction shop aka the cartel market so as you can see here, I am standing in front of a GTN terminal, a Galactic Trade Network terminal. Uh, essentially what that is, is the marketplace of Swator. So you go to it, of course, you see that it has like a whole volley of categories which you could access and try to buy your various items. Items that you might need, mostly if you're going level 75 to level 80 you're going to quickly find that gear is bloody expensive. So let's take a look at armoring. So to, to just update you guys, you need, if you're not a, um, if you're not a, a, a sentinel, AKA a dual wielding Jedi or a, uh, or a marauder, you will need eight pieces of armoring. This is called uh, 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 this is called item modification. How to brain fart there. And in item modification, you apply these to adaptive gear, which literally grow as you level. And after applying these pieces, you are at like full stats for that level. So let's say you want to go and get an armoring piece, which if you want a full set, you need eight of these babies. So we're going to go and take a look at all of these. So the superior versatile armoring is among the most expensive that you can, that you can get. So you'll see that it is rating number 306, which is the strongest crafting gear that you can get right now. You'll, you'll find that uh, these prices are absolutely through the freaking roof. You'll find resistive armoring. This is for, uh, this is for tanks. Versatile armoring is for DPS and healing. So you will see that because you need eight of these, uh, you're kind of looking at like an exceptionally heavy duty price range of between 200 million per piece. And you'll see that the cheapest is 150 million. So put into that perspective, right? Let's say you need eight of them, right? So what's it going to cost you? One billion 200 million credits. Now you're thinking, wow, that, that sounds like a lot. Uh, did you know the maximum you, the maximum credits you can actually get is 1 billion, right? So, uh, and that's like, that's per tune. So not only that, but also everything here is costing you just that much. And that's just for one set, because after you've done the armoring, then you have to go down and apply the mods. So the mods are on every single piece of equipment from weapons to armor, and there's nine in total. So we're going to go and we're going to take a look and we're going to see just how much nine costs. So uh, let's say you are a DPS 
and you are looking for uh, you are looking for nine mods. Well, look at that. There you go. 199 million per piece. And you need nine of these babies. So that's one, that's just under 1.8 billion credits. Oh, and that's not all. You then have to go to enhancements because seven pieces of your equipment have enhancements. So we're going to go and see how much enhancements are, shall we? Ah, oh, look at all of these wonderful, beautiful enhancements. Almost 700 million per enhancement. And you need seven of those babies. So that's another 4.2 billion credits. So already you are looking at an exorbitant amount of credits. Why is this? Because the market's destroyed. This game's market is absolutely decimated completely decimated it's so decimated you can't even get a hyper crate anymore oh no 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 look at this look at that hyper crates they don't exist anymore why is that because a single cartel market pack is now running you guessed it one billion credits almost for every single one, except for the ultimates. We'll get into that in a moment. So you can see, <coughs> you can see how this game has completely destroyed its own market, which forces you to go into what is known as the cartel market. And this is the microtransaction shop for the game. And why does it bring you here? Because they purposely let the marketplace get ruined so they can make money off of you by forcing you into the cartel market. So, this is otherwise known as the gambling place. Especially if you're opening up packs and hypercrates, which have very, very low chances of dropping anything that you want, uh, the, anything that you want. It will give you junk upon junk upon junk and things that you might want to sell, but don't sell because the market is just completely flooded with them. And not only that, they're junk. So it's, if you want to buy yourself a hyper crate, as they are called, that contains, I think, what is it, 30 packs? So you think, right, 30 packs. How much did we say one single pack was? 500 million credits, 400 to 500 million credits for a single ultimate uh, cartel pack. So if you're getting 30 of these, you're essentially getting between 15 and 20 billion credits worth of these babies uh roughly about 15 billion but what are you paying for these uh exorbitant prices well let's take a look as you can see the ultimate cartel pack hyper crate here is 5400 cartel coins we look on the uh we look on the market and what do we see well, we see that the uh, market says if you want 5,500 cartel coins, which it, as you saw, it costs 5,400 to buy that uh, to buy that hyper crate. It's going to cost 39.99 USD plus all its taxes, roughly about 45 US dollars, right? So let's say you need credits you let's say you want to buy something else off the market but of course everything is like one billion credits and let remember you want to buy those um uh, those modifications for your equipment to make you like a better player right so because the market is destroyed they force you to buy from the cartel coin market 
And so you buy that $44, $45 worth, after taxes, of course, and then you go back into the game, you purchase a, an ultimate hyper crate for 5400 there goes your uh there goes your um your 45 dollars and the chances of getting any kind of good gear any kind of good items items that you can actually use are minusculely low it is literally slot machine numbers slot machine number that's what it is and no one's a winner when you are uh when you are slot machining the, it sucks your money up and leaves you with nothing so what most people will do is they'll just take the hyper crate they'll open it up they'll get the 30 packs and then they'll sell the, the packs on the market for 400 to 500 million each, right? Well, then you'll quickly notice that you can only have a certain amount of credits on your character at one time, right? So if you go over that amount, well, you're screwed. Now, what's interesting about it is you will have to wait 36 hours before you can even put those packs onto the general market. The game makes you wait a day and a half to uh, sell your product to others for in-game credits. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite a bit, huh? And so after the day and a half has passed, then you could, then you could sell your packs, right? And then what happens? Well, you have to wait for the sale. So you get one item. So let's say you, you sell a, a pack or two, you get one, uh, one modification, right? But then you, re you remember, like, you know, you need nine mods, you need seven enhancements that are going to cost 4.8 billion credits just by themselves. Then you need eight armoring or um, yeah, eight armorings at like the, the price just like really, really goes up. So essentially you have just spent that $45 to get roughly about like 15 billion worth of credits, which you are spending on essentially those modifications just for that one character, right? And that's how they get you. They ensure that you don't get enough credits by going out and doing dailies. This is the reason why they took credits out of treasure boxes. Like when you, earlier in Swator, when you used to go out and explore the world, they had a whole whack of treasure boxes across every single world. And when you open them up, they all contained a certain amount of credits. Well, they want you to go to the cartel market to sell cartel market products on the GTN for, for credits. They don't want you to earn the credits yourself without Bioware getting a piece of the pie, right? So they make you spend the, uh, they make you spend the exorbitant amount. And well, hold on, I got to move my character here before it logs out from inactivity. And they, and then they, um, after they get their money, you put it, it up uh, for sale after the 36 hour wait, you get the in-game credits, which you get very little in return for all of those credits because the prices are so exorbitant for just one individual item, right? So what does this mean? You need more credits. And where do you go? You go back to the website, right? And you have to pay another $45 just to make ends meet. You got to open your wallet. You know, EA and Bioware, they just want you to open up that wallet. And there's, uh, and they just want that credit card. They, they, they are licking their lips at that credit card of yours. 
That's what they want. So that's how predat that's how predatory they are. They destroyed their own market so they can force you to go to the cartel market to buy with real money so you could sell for in-game money for very very few items because of the exorbitant prices and with that that forces you back to the cartel market and it's just a repeating cycle from there because once you're in there like you're you're not getting out of there you need something the game knows you need something and the game is going to make you get it because if you don't get it no one's going to put you in their group no one's going to put you in their operation they want you at maximum potential and the only way to get to maximum potential got to go through the cartel market that's how this game works everything that's out there is geared to bring you to the cartel market and the the chances of getting any kind of items are exceptionally low apologies i had a power outage which stopped the video um but yeah like that's just for the that's just for the the hyper crates let's go into other things all right let's let's take a look at weaponry shall we so we're going to go and take a look at weaponry and we are going to look at this lightsaber for example now you are a person with 5500 cartel market or cartel coins you just purchased for 45 us dollars and you're now realizing that this one lightsaber that doesn't even have uh that it's completely empty as you can see on the right side the fractured ashla lightsaber you could actually see that this weapon doesn't even have anything in it it has no crystal has no hilt no mod no enhancement which means you have to actually go on the market and get those items right which we already went through the costs of that so just for the aesthetic alone it's 4800 out of your 5500 cartel coins so you're essentially paying roughly about 36 out of your $45 for this item. Now you kind of want to ask yourself, is this weapon worth 36 of your hard earned dollars? Now, some of you who get paid a lot may say, absolutely, you know what, this, this is actually pretty nice looking. And I personally agree, it is aesthetically pleasing, but is it worth? 36 US dollars and the answer to that I would have to say is no of course that is my personal preference you guys can uh, you guys can of course decide for yourselves right but nonetheless it is still 4800 cartel coins just for the weapon alone and then you have to again um, uh, modify it so let's uh let's take a look at another one for example uh let's take a look at the uh, mk6 sniper rifles right silent storm sniper rifles really nice looking sniper rifles 900 cartel coins so what does that mean well 5500 you spent 45 us on it uh so that's uh 20% of, of the amount you spent on it, so 20% of $45, roughly, what, seven and a half, seven and a half dollars, right? That, no, about nine, uh, yeah, about nine dollars, actually. I was way off. So, nine dollars. You, you, you just spent, like, nine dollars for this sniper rifle, right? And let's see is this sniper rifle on the market so we want to go to the market right so let's go to the market 
And we go to uh, weaponry and MK6 sniper. Look at that. Isn't it genius? One billion credits. So what that means is you will need to sell three of those hypercrate packs that you just bought with 5,400 cartel coins. And after those are sold, then you could get one of these babies, right? So essentially, you are spending cartel money for credits, which purchase cartel stuff, and then you find out you need more cartel stuff. So you go back to the cartel market, buy more cartel stuff to sell on the market, to buy more cartel stuff. This is how they get you. This is how they make their money. This is how they're suckering you. And what's really interesting about it is people are like, oh, you could just go on to these worlds and you could do dailies and get credits for your dailies. All right, let's test that theory, shall we? We're going to go over to here in the, uh, I think it's in the combat training section, and we're going to test this theory, shall we? So we're just going to take a little trip and make our way over to the uh, uh, to the daily section, and we're just going to see how much we get for doing a daily. So let's go here. Uh, whoop! Uh, it's this terminal right here, heroic missions. So look at the credits. Look at the credits that you get. You get 28, roughly just under 28,000. So, you open up your calculator, right? Let's open up the calculator. Let's go. Um, what, 1 billion? 1 billion credits divided by 27,945. You will need to do... 35,785 of these missions to get 1 billion credits. Or, or you could do it in 5 minutes by flashing that credit card and just loading Bioware's coffers with your hard-earned cash because that's the only other way you are getting this stuff. You're either going to the cartel coin or you're doing over 30,000 over 30,000 missions for one item that costs only nine dollars all right that's all the time we have for today but i hope you've learned a thing or two um this was very fun this game just wants your money that's all it does i am ashley lgr for raza streaming network thank you for watching this video I will see you all again in the next one coming up in a couple of days. See ya.